Okay, so we are going to do another unboxing video, and we're going to do a little review on this product right here, and let's open it up and see what it is. I'm definitely not left-handed. <laughs> And this is going to be a review on this, the Have a Heart Trap. Now, I'm after having gone through many failures with using these kind of traps that they don't work. I'll show you the trap I have in the greenhouse in a minute. I generally don't have faith in these traps, but I watch a lot of videos of people using this particular trap as well as uh, the reviews on it and people were doing pretty good. There were a couple people saying they weren't getting anything in it. Maybe they just weren't baiting it right. But I bought this because this is at this point right now I have no choice but to do this because I'm getting mice, voles, chipmunks and squirrels in my greenhouse digging holes, doing damage and it has to come to an end. So at some point you got to be able to say I'm done with this. This has got to stop at some point. And so now you start to... I mean, I can sit out there with a BB gun all day, but I, I'm just, you know... I don't have time to do that, to be honest with you. So, here it is. Have a heart. Let's open it up. And I, I, the squirrels, I have no problem with, actually. Squirrels are generally don't bother my greenhouse. They don't even bother me, really. It's the chipmunks. Those things are, are the worst. Uh, weasels, too, supposedly, but, you know, I don't know. They, they can be as, as much of a problem as chipmunks, from what I hear. But I don't have that problem. My problem is chipmunks. I believe that's all it is. Keep the box in case I got to return it. This thing doesn't work. It is getting sent back. <laughs> so here it is. And this is what it looks like. It's got a pretty thick cage here. This is pretty thick material. They're not going to be able to bend it to get out, which is a problem I'm having with one of the other traps. They're kind of being able to bend the wall on it and get out. They're actually able to squeeze past it. So this is thick enough, this gauge right here is thick enough to where there, no chipmunk is going to bend this. That's the first thing that I noticed. It's thick walled. It also has this metal top which protects you from a squirrel biting you or scratching you or something like that. So you got this metal top on here that protects you. And in the back it's there's no door on it per se but they did put rings on it to keep this they didn't wire it but they put rings on it to keep it shut so i guess that i don't know that's kind of cheap to be honest with you i'm just gonna end up taking my my uh, stainless steel tie wire i got tie wire that's made of stainless and i'm just gonna tie wire this extra shut i, I don't want it to i don't want to take any chances after what i've been through so um, we'll fix that. That's just a little modification, but yeah, it does have these little rings on there. And if you ask me, I think that's a kind of a cheap cop out there. This is the whole trick. All the other tripping mechanisms that are out there for, for chipmunks, absolutely not going to work. You need something that's very special and that's very sensitive to even the slightest movement. So the only thing that I can imagine will work is something like this, where it takes... I can't set it holding a camera, but it's going to take a very special thing where it, it holds it together just like this. See how I, I put this little bar behind it and it just sits there. It's so delicate, but so easy to set at the same time. You're not struggling for 10 minutes to do this. And so once you set that, even the slightest movement will set that off. But yet, if something jars it, it generally shouldn't. Well, there's no, there's no pressure on it right now, I, you know. 
so it should it should hold it but even a slight as you know jar to the thing to this cage is generally not going to set it off but this is the type of mechanism you need in order for you to catch chipmunks because everything else chipmunks can they'll get right by you need something special that's sensitive enough to be able to trip it okay so this is the trap i was attempting to use to either catch squirrels or chipmunks uh this thing here an absolute piece of junk don't ever buy this design and trap. This thing's a nightmare to deal with. It's basically just like chicken wire that has half inch grid. This is a uh, half inch holes, basically. Uh, it doesn't come with the foil. I added the foil so I can drive the chipmunks or squirrels or whatever to the front and not go to the back where the seed was because what they were doing was as I had the seed over here, they were digging underneath the ground to get to the seed. I, these things are absolutely intelligent. I'm telling you, these they must these animals must plan this stuff. So, uh, <laughs> and the seed, of course, drops through the hole in the bottom and then goes into the hole and they get their seed. They're, they're, these animals are unbelievable. Uh, the other thing about this this trap I don't like is that it has this really piece of shit mechanism. I actually tried modifying this thing, and it it just doesn't work, guys. This thing. It doesn't work. I, it, it, the original design that it had on it was even worse than what I did. And in order for me to actually open this thing, I have to press this this lever here. So look here, really close. You see how this works? There's this thing on top. I have to push that thing all the way down, pull this all the way up, and guess what it does? It hits the, the metal on the top, so I can't fully bring it up. And then I got to set this mechanism with this stupid thing, this tripping mechanism. It's either gonna, it's either gonna stay or it's gonna fall. It's, it's completely unreliable. This this type of mechanism used to, um, it's. This mechanism is probably one of the worst designs I've ever seen. So this thing here, this is what I'm doing with that thing. That's the end of that design. That will never work. Don't ever buy that kind of trap, ever. Trust me when I tell you, I've been dealing with these rodents for a long time now, and now it's finally gonna come to an end because I got something that is actually designed highly intelligent and yet simple. Simple. It, it, whoever designed that understands what it, it takes to actually catch one of these things. The other trap I wanted to show you is this piece of garbage. Now, this piece of garbage basically works off of the principle of, it's kind of like using a snare, a mechanical snare. So basically what it does is you depress this thing like so, and there's a, there's a, a cable on the inside, and that cable is held down by this wonderful contraction right here, which I hope I don't get hurt trying to set this for one hand. But I gotta do it for camera. And why did this one lift up? It's a piece of junk, guys. I'm telling you right now, this thing is don't ever buy something like this. I forgot what I paid for this too, like ten bucks. It's so the, the the mechanism is sensitive, and basically you sit this thing down like this. It, I I I cannot understand the concept behind this design it just doesn't make any sense to me what what is this how is this what do you turn it up you turn it upside down you put this in here and then you turn it upside down i i don't know I, it's just it never made any sense to me i've never caught in anything with this trap design it just doesn't make sense guys so this trap here in my opinion out the door it goes piece of junk don't waste your money on garbage. Make sure you you watch videos. You you watch the videos on the traps that people are having success with. Read the comments in your Amazon. Uh, you know the, the reviews on the comments in Amazon. Do research before you buy something because you're going to throw basically these two traps. I think that one cost me twenty five dollars, and that one caught probably cost me around ten or twelve. So I basically threw away thirty five to fifty dollars with the shipping. On something that never caught me anything, not even one time. Okay, so that is what you don't do, is buy that. You have to research what you're doing. I just seen something go by here. This could be our little friend. He knows he's getting ready to be fed, huh?
Oh, he's fast. Believe me when I tell you, he is so fast. But we want to get something right away. So, we're going to set this thing up where there's known intruders. And they are... And believe me, there, there are known intruders here, too. They're up and down my garden. They're, they're all over here. So I'm going to eventually set this up in here, but I want to get something for camera right away. And I know where they, I know where the playground is. So let's go to the ballpark. See if we can meet up with some of our little chipmunk buddies. You have to listen to the chirps. Chipmunks know. When you're around. And when they know you're when they know you're around, they alert all the other chipmunks. They chirp, chirp, chirp. And when they do that, they're letting everybody know that somebody's here to do some no good to them. Oh, there he is, right there, by the grill. This. There he is, right there by the grill, just sitting there waiting for, for me to give him a nice little trap. Let me bait this trap and get this thing all set. We'll be right back. Okay, so there it is, and the trap is set. As you can see, we got our peanut butter and seed little uh, concoction there. If you look over here as well, you can see there's also a hole that's right next to one of their nests. I can hear it. I'm chirping right now in the background. We got one probably right about here somewhere. Got to give them some time to clear out. And once they do, we will come back and see if we got one. I'm pretty sure we're going to get one using this thing. Okay, so we're going to go and check the trap. It's been a few hours later. And we'll see how we did with our little trap here. And how it works. Well, how do you like that, guys? How do you like that? Almost a dozen different designs and traps later. And probably eight years since I've been here. Never caught, ever caught a single chipmunk. I've caught in squirrels, I've caught in birds, believe it or not, in these kind of traps, but in all the years I've been here, I have never, ever caught a chipmunk. Never. These things are absolutely brilliant, genius, and, and they're smart, and they're clever, and they're very small and light, so it's very hard to get anything that can actually catch a chipmunk. This actually worked. But it's the first time ever, guys. All year, I'm actually ecstatic. I, I'm, I'm almost speechless because I can't believe I actually got one. Let's take a look. Look at him. He's actually pretty cute. Oh, he ate all the peanut butter, though. Look at that. He ate a bit of peanut butter in there. Look at him go. Oh, Tico's going to love you. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna find a place. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna create a larger cage and keep him in there. You know him and a, and a bunch of the others. And I'm gonna collect them till I get like maybe a half dozen or a dozen of them. And then I'm just gonna bring them to uh, a park and let them all go at once. This one's actually a baby. He's cute, isn't he? Let's bring him up. First time ever, guys. Absolutely the best most intelligent and simple design for catching chipmunks is the most effective i've looked at, i've tried so many other types of designs none of them ever worked none of them did it's just simply because of the triggering mechanisms that they're just the dumbest things i've ever seen in my life whereas with this there's it's, it's an absolutely ingenious triggering mechanism. I knew it as soon as I seen it. This design 
is absolutely ingenious. It's genius. It's, I've never seen anything like that. That will absolutely work. Nothing else will work. Trust me, I've tried it all. Maybe the gallon pail with uh, seeds that float on the top and you trick him and he falls in. Yeah, that might work too. You know, you could, I've never tried that. That was the one thing I never tried, but I didn't necessarily want to kill him either, you know. I just basically want to catch him and get him out of here. Oh, he look, he peed. He went pee because he is scared piss. Don't worry, little guy. I ain't going to hurt you. We're going to get you a new home, all right? We're going to get you out into the public parks. I'm going to bring you about a dozen of you at a time. And after that, no more little chipmunks. Yeah, see, he can't get out. He cannot get out. Believe me when I tell you, that little thing you think is stupid that little thing is so smart he will actually figure a way out of there he probably even could figure a way out of this thing eventually he probably can figure out how to open this door and get out of it yeah, he'll be all right though yeah look at him isn't he cute <laughs> i am so happy guys this is gonna actually work this thing's gonna be set up 24 hours a day in my greenhouse absolutely have a heart trap this is the only thing i can ever actually recommend for using to catch either chipmunks or even squirrels or anything else chipmunks are the ones these are the this is the challenge right here squirrel traps i've you can just you can squirrels are they got weight on them so a lot of different triggering mechanisms will work with squirrels it's not that hard to catch squirrels guys if these are the ones this and voles and mice and moles and little things like that these things are so small and light they don't trip these mechanisms very easy so you need something that's effective on actually working here even baby rabbits you can get in here and stuff it, this is this is one of the best traps I've ever seen. I'm absolutely pleased with it, and I absolutely recommend have a heart type traps. Mainly, the only thing that I highly recommend, mostly because the reason why, mainly the reason why I mostly recommend this is because of this triggering mechanism. Absolute whoever thought of that is an absolute freaking genius. Absolutely genius. Nothing else can trip something so simple and small and light and be effective like that nothing i've used this is the best design i've ever seen Who, whoever figured that type of tripping mechanism out is absolutely genius that that's all i can say is there there's there's no other there's no other way to say it they're absolutely intelligent and genius give that person thousand percent credit so what i'll do is i'll leave links for this trap in my description and other traps made by have a heart and this company and uh you could go check them out if you want to purchase them you can get them right from that link uh i bought this on amazon so if i don't like it for any reason i can always return it but i can certainly assure you i am never going to return this trap i wish i could take those other traps and put them in a box and, and send them back this thing absolutely intelligent so my my uh my take on it is best trap i ever owned and i might even get the larger size so i can catch some of the rabbits i have now out here just to, just for catching rabbits so uh we'll start with these and work our way up don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one